you were on, you were with your fiance on that plane, you were on a romantic getaway. Um, when that plane crashed, what happened? We were um, going to a beach resort in uh, Natram. My, my fiance set up two branches for NG Bank. I was an investment banker in Spain. Uh, we were um, going for three days or four days. And um, when I saw the size of the plane, I actually didn't want to get in because I'm very claustrophobic. He, f he convinced me to go in. Um, he said it was only 20 minutes and he lied to me. It was 50 minutes, 55 minutes. And so I was just really very nervous about the flight already. And 50th minute, there was a gigantic drop. People screaming. Um, I didn't think much of it because of course a little plane like that will feel with such, <laughs> was supposed to make feel such drop. And then he, um, he was scared. We, kept on flying, another, jo another giant drop. He grabbed for my hand, I grabbed for his, and everything went black. And so you were holding his hand, and then it, it just, do you remember the impact, or then all of a sudden, what's your next memory? And it, obviously that, that, that bang was flying into the, the mountain. The right mountain, yes. And then um, what happened is that the, the plane lost a wing and went on flying and bumped into the other mountain. Um, I was unconscious then. I woke up. Uh, the airplane had broken in two. The fuselage, I could I see, I through the fuselage, I could see the jungle. Um, I was stuck under a seat with a dead person, as it turned out. At my left, I saw Willem, and he was dead. And I must knew. have gone into shock then, because, yes, I could immediately see he was dead. And then you went into shock, and then you managed somehow in that shock, in that unconscious state, to to get off the plane. Right? Somehow I must have been. I was severely injured, but it must have been mind over matter. But I don't remember how. The next memory is I'm out of the jungle floor, with a few more people out um, of the floor. Most the fuselage was behind me with the dead people inside. A few people were still moaning. Uh, next to me there was a Vietnamese man speaking in English even. Mm. Um, we spoke a couple of times, uh, mostly about when the rescuers would come. And but no one, you were the only, when they came, I mean, eight days, you were gathering water, I guess, and some, found some way to gather water. Well, at the end of rained. the day, he died, and, yeah. and I stayed next to him at first and marked the hours on his watch. Then I moved away from him, and I made a plan to collect rainwater. And so, do you know what it was that made you able to survive. I mean, you were, I mean, your, your lung was injured, you couldn't walk, your legs were broken, your arm, your hip, your jaw. I mean, you were severely injured. Yeah, what I did, I was controlling my mind in order to listen to my heart. That's what I did. I, I listened to my instinct. I did not get emotional, but nor did I let my mind run off in scenarios, what if, or what should not have been there, or what should, I just focused what was right in front of me. And I did what I had to be done. And, and were you grieving? For your I was fiance bleeding at that time, or not even. But every able? time I, that was the one thing I suppressed. I told every time I thought of him, I, I had mm. to stop thinking of it. Otherwise, I would start crying, and then that would make me more thirsty and weaker. So I tried not. I, I forced mm. myself not to think of him, and I forced myself to look at the beauty of the jungle. And that's what, in the end, got me through. I got. I totally focused on the beauty of the leaves, of the sun, on the rain, and the canopy. I mean, and it was such a tragedy, and yet um, your life did move on. You have a daughter who would not yes. be your daughter yeah. had, had that not happened. Yes. Um, you flew over the crash site with her on that airline, showed that to her. Yes. Um, your, your life changed and you somehow made it a beautiful thing. What would you sa tell Sailor? More than anything, I would ask the people around Sailor. I hope she has a loving family, of course, first, but also not to treat her. She did something extraordinary, but not to treat her like someone extraordinary. Because for her, all the variables have changed. And that mm -hmm. is horrible enough as it is. And you want to stay, everything else to stay the same as much as possible. And when people treat you like you are with Different. all, I know she did something extraordinary, but she doesn't want to be treated like someone extraordinary. She wants to be mm. treated the same because you don't know when you do something extraordinary. For you, everyone is the same and you come back. Mm. And it only will put extra stress on her. She wants everyone to treat her normal. The same.